Hello everyone. This video will show how to write the possible point slope form equation of a line given a graph. Before we go farther, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to lines. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on the basic information of the point slope form of a line. So if we are given the slope of a line and a point, we label this as x1, y1. We can go ahead and determine the equation of this line by using the formula y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1, where our m is the slope and the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1 is a point on the line. Sometimes the slope is not given, but another point is given. We can go ahead and solve for the slope of the line using these two points, and we still can use the point slope form. We just have to pick which of those two points we use to replace the y1 and x1 in the equation. <laughs> Okay, going back to the example right here, we're supposed to write the possible point slope form equation of this given line right here. Now again, we remember that the point slope form equation of a line is y minus y sub 1 equals m quantity x minus x sub 1. So that's the equation for the um, point slope form. So we're supposed to determine first the slope of this line. There are two ways to determine the slope. I'm going to show you the long way and the short way. So let's start with the long method of determining the slope. We remember that the formula for the slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We are given two points or we're given three points here. We, we only need two points to determine the slope of a line. It doesn't matter which um, number or which dot you use or which point you use because the slope within the line, it doesn't matter what point you use, is the same. So let's take these two points right here. So this would be negative 1, 0, and this one right here is 2, 4. So I'm going to go ahead and determine the slope for this. We can label this is our x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. So we're going to plug it in. So our y sub 2 based on this is 4, and then that is minus y sub 1 is 0. So that's minus 0 over x sub 2 is 2, and then that's minus x sub 1 is negative 1. So remember, we are going to um, change this to plus and plus. So this gives us the slope of four thirds because you have a two minus negative one is three. So this tells us that our slope M is four thirds. The shorter way to do this is using the rise over run. So from the point we go up. So we count how many times we go up. One, two, three, four. So I went four up and then over one, two, three, that's over three. And it also works if we take the other one here. So I go up one, two, three, four, over one, two, three. So that's the uh, fastest way to determine the slope. Although, again, you can use the long method by solving for the m using this formula. And so we go ahead and determine the equation of this line, the possible equation of this line using this point slope form. To do that, we're going to pick points on this um, line right here. So let's take the first point that we have would be, let's take this um, point right here, 2, 4. So our point, I'm going to write it down here, our point is 2 and 4. Now, in order that we can write the equation, we will take this as our x sub 1 and y sub 1. And we plug it in here. So the equation would come out y minus our y sub 1 is 4 equals the slope is 4 over 3. We have x minus our x sub 1 is 2. And so this is the 
possible equation for this um, problem that we have up here. So the equation of this line is this one. Now let's take another point and determine the equation of the line. So let's say we use this point that's going to be um, negative 1, 0. So that is negative 1, 0. Again, we plug it in. That would be y minus our, remember this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. So our y sub 1 is 0, so that is y minus 0 equals, our slope is 4 thirds, then we have the x, our x sub 1 is, that's x minus, and then our x sub 1 is negative 1, so I'm going to write negative 1 right here. So we are going to simplify this. So this comes out y minus 0 is just y equals 4 thirds. That's going to be x plus 1. So this is the possible or another possible equation for this line right here. Now let's take the third point right here. So our third point is going to be negative 4 and negative 4. So that's negative 4 and negative 4. So we go ahead and write down the equation. We plug this in. Again, this is our x1, y1. So this comes out y minus our y1 is negative 4. So that's a minus 4 equals 4 thirds. And then our x sub 1 would be negative 4. So I write negative 4 right here. Now we remember a negative and negative becomes positive. So this comes out y plus 4 equals 4 thirds x plus 4. So this is another possible equation of this line right here. So these three equations that we have here are equivalent equations, which means that these are the equations for this line right here in point slope form. Now, please remember that these three equations here are just some of the infinite number of equations that we can write in point slope form, which means that we can create infinite number of point slope form equation for this line. These are just three of those infinite numbers. Now, let's move on to the next example. Okay, so let's go over this example. Now, please remember that in this example, there are no dots given to us. In order that we can come up with an equation in point slope form of this line right here, we are going to pick lattice points. When we say lattice points, those that have uh, those coordinates that are in integer form. So the first lattice point could be this point right here. Then we trace it up. It's going to be up here and then trace out the line, and the next lattice point is here, and the next lattice point will be down here. And so we can create more lattice points if we extend this line, but so far these are the lattice points. Now we are going to determine the slope for this, but first we are going to write the point slope form equation of a line. Now let's take the short way of determining the slope for the line. So we are going to start from here, we can, we can start anywhere, so we start from here, we go up one, and so we went up one, and then we go to the left, one, two, three, so that would be a negative three, because we went to the left. So that tells us that our slope is negative one third. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that up here, so our slope M is negative one third. So we go ahead and write the possible equations for this line right here in point slope form. So we're going to start picking out this first point right here, which is negative 4, 1. So the first point here would be, again, that's um, negative 4, 1. So remember, this is our x sub 1, y sub 1. So we're going to plug it in. This will come out y minus our y sub 1 is 1. So that's y minus 1 equals our slope here is negative 1 third. And then we have an x. And then minus our x sub 1 is negative 4. Plug it in, negative 4. So the equation would come out. 
So this is a possible equation for this line in slope intercept form using the point for one. Now let's look at the other equations using the points that would be negative one, zero. And using the next point that would be two, negative one. Okay, so these are the three possible equations for this line right here. Again, we can create more than three. We can have infinite number of combinations here using fractions and decimal for each of the points. But then we, I'm, I'm just showing you that these are the possible three equations, again, using these three points right here. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!